Um, look, there was a lot of fallout from um, the West Ham game. And this game isn't really a game you can say we can bounce back and get too much confidence because it's going to be a whole different team, to be honest with you. Um, so it's not going to be the same players that, that lost against West Ham. So it isn't really a chance for them to get morale or get a confidence boost. But it will be a chance for Pogba to get some um, to get some minutes, to be honest, and um, try and get a bit of form and get a bit of fitness. Martial's obviously going to be out as well. Um, I don't want Pogba to start the game, but um, surely he can come on last 15, 20 minutes. And hopefully he's not being brought on to try and save the game and <laughs> make us more creative and make something happen. Hopefully the game's put to bed by then. There's re early reports, early team news that um, Matic is not in the squad and neither is Angel Gomez. Matic, fair play. Um, Gomez, it's kind of like, yeah, he, had, he might not have played amazingly well against Astana, but he wasn't poor, he wasn't awful um, in what was not a great team performance like with and a lot of individuals didn't probably give their best game but I don't know why he wouldn't be in the team unless he's injured like this is, these are the games that he should be playing in to be honest um, give him some confidence and try and get him going but if he's not in the squad for this then and he's not injured then I don't really understand the thinking behind that it's like what's he got to do to get some to keep getting a bit of consistent game time he should be playing in the Carabao Cup and the him um, early early stages of Europa League as, as a minimum um, but for some reason Oli doesn't see it that way like I said I don't know if it's because he's injured or, or what not but yes um, and if Greenwood it, you know, let's talk about the team you know, I think it should be pretty much the same team uh, that played against Astana obviously except Matic if he's not in the squad um, then you're probably going to bring in Pereira in there McTominay Pereira he might go with and then he probably will put Matter in the 10 um, I reckon Lingard will start somewhere across there um, either, either on the right or a number 10, so depending on where he plays as to where Matter would, would get a game, but I would I should expect Matter will play because I don't envision him playing against Arsenal, well, I hope not. Um, and Greenwood, man, Greenwood's back from his, I think he had a bout of tonsillitis, so it's important that he, he starts the game, to be honest, because with no fit strikers, um, I don't know, I want to see him get some form. You could look at it two ways, you could look at it like, why play him against Rochdale, because in case he gets injured, but for me, let's, let's get him moving, let's get him ticking, he missed the last game, so fitness shouldn't be an issue. I know he was coming over tonsillitis, but get him in against Rochdale. Hopefully, he can bag, have a good game, and then be in a decent bit of form or, or decent shape going into Arsenal rather than just throw him into it because Martial's not fit by by then, and, and Rashford's definitely going to be out. Then we ain't got a striker, and Greenwood has to play. And I want Greenwood to play. You know, you look at how uh, Rashford broke, broke into the team against Arsenal. Why can't Greenwood do it, man? So, uh, Rance, not, not a glamorous game. Uh, we expected bare goals against flipping Astana. We didn't get that. We had chances, to be fair. We should have been about 3-0. Three, three but today, can you see it being similar to how it was against Astana? Bearing in mind, Oli's going to play near enough the same team, whole changes, or can you see us getting some goals today? Um, to be honest, um, you can't forget that we created quite a few chances against Astana. So if those chances are falling to Mason, then I'd, I'd put my hat on him to back. So... We never know. I think it's going to be a more um, physical game, and yeah, I still think that it's going to be a low-scoring game. I reckon it'll be one or two goals maximum, man. See, and that's mad. You look at Arsenal pumping up, flipping Forest five 0 and that because you know, and that's with their second string. We should be able to put a second string out and say, you know, we're going to go and hold Rochdale, slap Rochdale three four nil, five nil. But like you're saying, there's just no confidence in that, um, Miles. Not again, not a glamorous game. That you predicted goals against Astana as well. Oh, we all we all did. <laughs> um, but Rochdale's similar level of position opposition. Let's let's face it, League yeah. One standard. What are you saying? Uh, there's no excuse this time for us not to get goals against Rochdale. Um, I expected goals against Astana, but then looking back at the result, I was kind of okay that we didn't get any goals because the young guys were just brought in for like you know from the start of the game and whatnot. So I was like, all right, cool, let's just chalk it up to um, tactical errors from Solskjaer rather than um, mistakes from the players themselves because they're young and whatever. But I feel like those things should be ironed out now. If you're kind of go gonna go with the youngsters again and put them all in, then now they should be able to implement your tactics and go out and get the goals that we need. Um, if Greenwood's gonna start, then obviously we need um, everyone else to be supplying him with, you know, the right, with, um, good amount of chances and whatnot so I don't know I, this time I expect more goals the last game I did but after it happened and we only got the 1-0 I was like alright cool but 
this time we have to go out there and put, a, put in a performance. Look at look at Tottenham, you know. They're, right. they, you know, yeah, they're, they're out there. They're straight to penalties as well, so yeah. they, nick a, they nick a flipping nil-nil because we can't finish our dinner and it goes to penalties as anyone's game. Exactly, and I don't think... That's what happened against Derby last year. Yeah, and I, I don't think we can choose what, what trophies we're going for this year. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Go for this>. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, and I, and I know that if we do end up bowing out of this, we're going to be very upset because oh my god, at home to flip in Rochdale. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't so. speak that into the atmosphere. <laughs> Don't do it. So yeah, yeah we we need the win, yeah. um, but we also need a good win. And even if we do get that good win. I don't think it's going to be like a platform for us to go on and do yeah, big things. Yeah, you can't judge off that. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't. can't it won't bring confidence that. throughout the side to slapping these man three or four nil. I think the most you can get from this game is giving confidence to our young guys who need to be, you know, put into this team a bit more yeah. um, in the Premier League and stuff. So yeah, man, let's see how okay. it goes. Yeah. So as you can hear, the boys are kind of not overawed by the game, to be honest. And I don't think any United fan is. Why would you? It's at home to Rochdale, and it's going to be wholesale changes. So. Regardless of the result, well, if we lose, that would be catastrophic, don't get me wrong. But if we win, then you can't really take too much of it. I echo what Miles says, apart from giving the youngsters um, a bit of a boost. So hopefully we see them play again. I don't know, like I said, there's rumours that Gomez is not in the side. But Chong didn't cover himself in glory against Astana and did have to be taken off. However, I'd still go with him again. Why, why, why not? You know, I'd rest Daniel James. Um, I know he missed that game for a little bit of an injury, but rest him. We saw what happened with Rashford, he played 90 minutes against Astana and then, you know, had to pull up with a muscular injury. So I know they worked really hard in pre-season on fitness as well, running these guys into the ground. So we, we don't, we, we, we're too threadbare for that, too threadbare for that. So same team against Astana, barring probably, um, it looks like Gomez is not going to be in there. So you probably put Matter in there. And then on the right, I'd probably just play Jesse. And then, up front, I play Greenwood, and on the left, I play Chong. That's what I would do. Um, we'll see what Ollie goes with. See you guys at the fan cams. Hopefully, surely, no, I'm not going to say surely, hopefully, we get some goals because nothing is guaranteed with us at the moment. Um, you saw with Tottenham yesterday what can happen. I know it was away, so it's a bit different, but it just goes to show if, if we just don't take our chances or we're not clinical, because that's what could have happened against Astana if Mason Greenwood didn't do his thing. Um, then it goes straight to penalties and that is anyone's game I don't care who you're playing and that will be very very embarrassing the mere fact that we're even having to discuss this potentially happening shows us how unconfident we are in our team at the moment with how we've been playing regardless of what team plays but let's try and put a bit of positivity in the air I'm going to go 3-0 what are you saying Rance? <laughs> 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 Sorry, Rance. Oh, bro uh, I say 2-0 Miles? Uh, I say 2-1. 2-1? Do you think they'll score against us? Yeah, and I think it's a tight 2-1, yeah. Wow. I was, I was on the fence about 2-1. <laughs> I was going to say 2-1, but then, but then I wow. thought, you know what, I'm going to say clean sheet. And then... Yeah, we, we've got to be getting a clean sheet against Rockstar. Unless there's a dodgy handball decision. There's no VAR in well, Carabao Cup, which is good, but you, you know, never know. It could, you could, you could drag someone down with 2-0 up yeah. and then, yeah. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. I think Jones has started after his little video. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting. Yeah, exactly, but... He has to because none of Maguire or Lindelof can't start. Yeah, yeah. And two and Zayman needs a partner. <laughs> um, all right, peace. We'll see you guys after the fan comes, man. Laters. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.